Um, young ladies, those of you out here in the dating pool, single mothers, I know you want somebody to be with. And sometimes um, in your desire to be with somebody, you're not always making the right choices um, about who you should be with. And I'm saying that I'm making the, that call um, because I know better. And to give you a perfect example of what I'm talking about is the four-year-old that was hit and run. I got this is an update, and I know good and well I'm going to blow y'all mind with this one. Um, this is breaking news. The man accused of hitting and killing four-year-old and seriously injuring her mother has been charged. A car struck Zakani Himes Wilson and her mother and her mother as they crossed Titonia near Green Tree Road on Tuesday. Donald Creighton, 30, faces charges of hit and run, resulting in death, knowingly operating a motor vehicle while suspended, causing death, hit and run, great bodily harm, and knowing, knowingly operating a motor vehicle while suspended. Now, how could he have suspended license? He ain't never had none in the first place. Causing great bodily harm, obstructing an officer, and solicitation of flee or elude an officer. I think they just be making up stuff when something is just real hideous. The criminal complaint filed Friday says Gloria Himes, the mother who was hit, identified the driver of the car as Don. Y'all hear what I said? She named him as Don. Oh. She identified him on a surveillance video, which shows Creighton and his sister running out the car after the crash. The sister stayed at the scene, but Creighton ran back to the car and drove off. The complaint says Creighton and the little girl's mother know each other. Oh, God. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this, please. Now, it, it, you know, now this is a, in, according to the investigators. Now, they could be wrong, but I doubt it. It's, according to the investigators, the pair are dating and live together. Did you hear me? So she laying down with a person that already to kill somebody with his vehicle. Did she know that? Did she know that? And was she so desperate for companionship? Ain't nothing like being lonely. Because it make you make choices that you probably would never, under normal circumstances, make. You can't vet people the way you should. Or your standard, your bar is very low. See, I'm quick to say, get the hell away from me. I'd rather be out in the wilderness alone than to be with a mate who is filthy, who is untrustworthy. I know I've been there. I haven't been down that school before. And I'm like, I'd rather be by myself. When officers attempted to interview Creighton, the complainant says he was crying uncontrollably and said he couldn't live with himself and wanted to go to a psych ward. No, bitch. Uh-uh. No, you're not going to the psych ward. You're going to deal with it. You're going to deal with it. Defendant Creighton continued to be emotional, crying and yelling, and began to yell, I'm so sorry, Connie. I'm so sorry, the complaint says. You wasn't sorry enough to drive your car to the police station. And since this was your woman, y'all lived together. You kept driving and tried to dish the car. But you want to say you sorry? Uh-uh. 
21-year-old Adriana Marco was also arrested after a police chase and crash that near that ended near 72nd and North in Wauwatosa. Investigators say she was driving the car. At first, defendant Marco stated that defendant Creighton, who she described as her boyfriend, did not tell her to flee the police and did not tell her about whether he had committed a crime. However, later, defendant Merkel stated before fleeing, defendant Creighton had, her, her, had called her on the phone. She said he was upset and said he couldn't live with this on his conscience, the complaint said. Channel 12 News talked to the victim's uncle Wednesday and said he waited for justice for his family. If you want me to be the judge, he doesn't need to be on the street. He needs to be under the jail, said Kentrell, I mean Kendall Himes. Creighton has never had a driver's license. Y'all hear that? He never even had a driver's license. He was convicted in 2018 of hitting and killing Daryl Tharp with his car. And he only served 10 months in the House of Correction. This is how much value they put on our lives. And this is how much value we put on ourselves. Because we can just hit somebody. Don't stop. Tell me I'm going back later or whatever. Calling our friends or whatever. And these are his two women. One of them he lived with. One of them is just his girlfriend. And he got them both. He got, not both. He got the new one, the Markel chick, accessory to murder. <sighs> Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all better learn how to, you better learn how to mess with yourself. You better learn how to slow down and go fast. Because if you putting up with shit like this in your house around your kids, heaven help us all. Heaven, help us all. All right. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. Because um, this is insane. He never even had a driver's license. And it's his second kill. As y'all say, his second body he caught. I'll see you in the next one. Just ultimately disgusting.